Hey folks, Ranger here, and right now I'm actually at the Chicago Field Museum. And before I anything else, here's a good look at good old Quetzalcoatlus. Yep. So I thought uh, I record this vlog since it's a uh, pretty famous these days on YouTube. And I thought today we check out the Evolution Planet that will feature the greatest T-Rex of all time. Let's get right to now. It. I am in the Cambrian Sea section. This is where it depicts life in the Cambrian Sea, and there's a freaky dude right there. Uh, part of it, I don't get these names, names correct. Um, my knowledge on Cambrian creatures is a little sketchy, but we've got a cool, cool table of trilobites here. One of the most widely found fossils around. Yeah. Here we got a depiction of a Devonian forest created by legendary painter Charles All Knight. Um, definitely enjoy paleo art, but this won't be the last one. Oh no. So yeah, really, really nicely lit up the hallway here as we continue on in the journey of life. Here we got a wall of shark teeth here. Got really interesting sizes here, with the biggest one, of course, being the Meg. Yep, Chris Nilla, if you watch this, you're welcome. You're welcome to Chris. It is, of course, Dunkleosius. Yep, a fish with no teeth, but can still pack a fearsome bite. Yeah, this is what life was like. Now, we are into the dreaded Carboniferous period. And these right here, people, are not uh, trees. These are, in fact, giant ferns. Yeah, so some of the biggest ferns that evolved. And, of course, you see a tiny little dragonfly, probably a Meganura. And, of course, we've got the fan favorite, Arthropleura. Yep. Yeah, pretty big dudes. Especially those who are afraid of bugs. And over here is where we get into the Permian era, where we get more Charizard Knight paintings, and of course some uh, freaky uh, non-dino dudes. Of course, we can see some recognizable faces, including Adaphosaurus right here. Uh, before this uh, recording, the Mattel figure has yet to come out, but more likely may get it. And then of course we got a fan favorite, especially those who watch Dominion, the Dimetrodon. Yep, pretty rad. And more likely that Adaptosaurus is natural predator. For those who watch Walking with Feet or Monster, my, my apologies. We have reached the Triassic era, meaning we are entering the Hall of Dinos. But first, let's see the good old uh, Herrerasaurus model. Like a family tree. Yep. And of course, we got the skeleton here. Okay, so the little guys around, but definitely the Herrerasaurus takes the cake. Reach the Dino Hall, folks. Pretty cool here. We got, of course, got the infamous Daspletosaurus consuming a poor old uh, Lambiosaurus fossil here. Yep. And over here, turn around, we actually got some newly renovated stuff. We got a uh, protoceratops. Then, of course, we got triceratops here, looking at the big boss himself. And turning around, you can see got another cast here of, of a ceratopsian known as the. I can't pronounce his name, but it's a Colonoceratopian fossil they added to go along with the trike fossils here. Of course, they got some casts here and there, especially a big T-Rex cast. Yeah, definitely big as a banana if you're familiar with some form of dino media. Of course, we got the Pichangasaurus skull here. Really cool. Now look at the Amisaurus. Yeah, you feel bad for him. But I'm still rooting for the Death Place source for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have a sick mind here. What is some dinos without some raptors? 
We of course got, I believe it's a Bambi Raptor, and of course, a Deinoticus. Now, fun fact for those who don't know, this right here is the real star of Jurassic Park. No, seriously, the raptors we see in the films, they're actually based on Deinoticus rather than actual Velociraptors. So, thought I'd point that out. Then, of course, we got some, you know, dino eggs. And, of course, a chasm uh, of uh, the Archaeopteryx. Pretty, pretty cool stuff right here. Gotta need, need to know that birds evolve from dinos. It's a given fact. Of course, we got the big boy here. We, of course, got a Patasaurus. Look, pretty massive guy right here. Yeah, you really need to get in the size of these animals for sure. Like, huge, huge sauropods used to walk on Earth. Of course, we got foot replica here. How massive these guys were. And of course, we got a smaller sauropod here. And in the corner, we can see Stegosaurus. Look at Stegosaurus here. You can see his big rows of bony plates here. Yep. You gotta really appreciate the fossil collection that Field Museum got here. Like, not every once in a while, you get to see dinosaurs up close. Well, of course, ones that are dead, but you get what I mean. Another shot, the Apato here. And of course, the smaller little guy here, known as the Rapusaurus. We got some smaller theropod specimens. We got uh, uh, bone material of Carolophosaurus, aka one of my favorite theropods of all time. And of course, another one of my favorites, good old Allosaurus. Yep, big owl in the flesh. Well, his cast, but yeah, still an owl. Of course, some appreciation for the Hadrosaurus. We got a smaller uh, Myasaura. And we got a bigger uh, Parasaurolophus. And in case you can't tell, this is uh, a female Parasaurolophus because of the shorter crest. So, yep. Of course, in the ceiling, we've got some Pteranodon replicas. Pretty cool. And all across the Dino Hall is more Charles or Knight's uh, paintings. Gotta appreciate these, even though a lot of these are definitely not accurate. Especially this chubby little Ankylosaurus, but still, gotta love, you know, our knight's, uh, you know, take on these uh, magnificent creatures. And of course, we've got the monsters of the seas. We've got Sphactinus, Mosasaurus, uh, plenty of other red fossils around, plenty of fishes, and of course, another Mosasaur and Ichthyosaurus. Yep, especially smallish species up there. Yep. And we can get another shot of the pteranodons. Really cool. And I'll probably shot a video in the main hallway with uh, the pterosaurs up in the ceiling. And of course, Maximo. Hey folks, enough fun and games. It's time to get serious. Now, we are about to enter the realm of a king. It is of course, the most infamous of all pteranosaurs the most greatest predator that ever existed. The one that gave inspiration to Rexy in Jurassic Park and everyone's favorite killer that ever existed is of course, Sue. Say hello to my little friend, folks. Well, they aren't certainly little, but they are truly a king. Yep, we've got Sue. Let's just take a moment to admire the king of the dinosaurs. <coughs> Look at that. This is what life is about, folks. Experiencing a once-in-a-lifetime possibility of seeing the biggest T-Rex ever. Unless you count Stan, but who cares? This is what life is about for a T Rex. Look at this. 
damn cool, folks. Of course, those who are around Sue's new uh, exhibit area, then you'll know that it has some updates, including this um, great mural representation of the Hell Creek Formation where Sue once lived. And also an illustration. Key to see it in Tyler's story is it's like Triceratops and a pterosaur over there. Speaking of Triceratops, we of course got a bony uh, cast of it as well. These were some of T Rex's favorite food around the time of the Cretaceous. Yep. And they even got smaller detailed uh, points to teach about Sue, including what their breath made of smelled like. Yeah, science isn't always pretty, folks. Yeah, right over here, folks, we ended the end of the Cretaceous. And by now, we're on to the age of mammals. Yes. So we got some pretty cool looking mammals that have evolved. Uh, some of these uh, are d definitely strange and including this guy right here, that's actually a horse relative. So, yep. Got a nasty telethont skull here also. Pretty cool. And more Charles All Night paintings. Yeah. Oh, and we have to get a close look at that terror bird. Yep. And marsupial saber tooth. Now we head into the Ice Age with a gigantic brown sloth right here. Yep. Pretty big guy here. And of course, we got the giant armadillo, the Bladont. Oh, yeah. Dinos weren't the only prehistoric beasties that grew big. I mean, this sloth is definitely reaches the ceiling almost. Reach the Ice Age, as I said. So we got some pretty cool creatures all about. Of course, we got the infamous saber tooth, and then some bears. We got cave bear here, and the overwhelming short faced bear. Probably the biggest bear that has evolved. Yep. And of course, moving along, we've got the infamous Irish elk. Megalosaurus, a woolly mammoth, bison, beaver, and the mastodon. Again, all accompanied by Charles O. Knight's paintings. And reaching the end of the Evolving Planet exhibit is, of course, the gift shop. So, yep, we got some pretty cool items you can pick now. Whether you are a dino fan or not. Let's see right here, we've got some pretty cool model selections they got. Uh, you can see what they got the uh, Capo uh, Feathered Raptor. So mostly Capo here. Yeah, really cool variety here. Of course, we got a favorite, the uh, Spinosaurus. And actually, I already got a model from here, which you guys will see in a later time. So, yep. Yeah. But, yeah, that's just, you know, this vlog for, you know, the, uh, the Evolving Planet exhibit. So, yep. And probably take some more vlogs once I take a look at Maximo uh, right in the main lobby. So, to wrap up this vlog, folks, let us take a nice view of Maximo. Yep, the real... A giant of dinosaurs. Yep. One of the biggest animals to have walked the Earth's surface. I mean, look at how, look how small Maximo, well, I should say these people are to Maximo here. Yeah, I forget elephants and giraffes. These are the real big boys. Regardless, pretty big, big boy for a dino. Yep. Again, why is this all about? With that said, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. With that said, folks, I'll see you guys next time.